Yeah, I don't know about the rest of you fellas here. I like to think when I'm bringing the thunder. Would be difficult to measure a level teaspoon of baking soda. So I'm looking to earn some extra money on the side. Got a few ideas. One is to start counterfeiting quarters. Because yeah. I've never had a can of quarters. There's so many different designs on our borders nowadays. I wouldn't even have to copy one. Who's that? Who's that? I could just make up my own. Most of the time, no one would know who's that. Then occasionally, someone would say, Wow, this border has a picture of two fat chicks breakdancing on it. No. There's a doggy. That's what would be on my quarter. You know, they're kind of hypocritical. Good morning, guys. Which no one will have done. They'll just kill most dogs. Yet if I want to adopt the same two dogs, say good morning. They would kill only one dog. Just putting some socks on. I was gonna shower, but I didn't have time. It's okay. I gotta do a workout before my shower anyway. Well, apparently that's cool. Well, I don't want to be wrong, but that's my demons hide. Don't get too close. Now let's stop. Yeah, I'm not gonna be wrong, but that's my demons hide. Don't get too close. Now let's stop inside. How are you today? I'm doing well. Doing well. Do you still get a heat rash? Yeah, not much, nothing more. Not much. Hey, get away from Thank you guys, CJ. Thank you, Andy. Thank you. How's the beast thing? It's good. It's not hurting anymore. Last night was a little itchy. It was good. That's where my dream is at. Watching the podcast. We got really good news this morning. Um, really good news. Like they said that, like after seeing all the nice comments, um, the stepdaughter, after seeing all the nice comments from you guys, we've helped her restore faith in humanity again. Like no joke. Like she's like, it's very great, very great thing. And then also, um, her guitar got broken, so I'm getting her a new guitar. I'm getting her a new guitar. So it's nice. Karen, thank you, Larry. Yeah, because she saw all the comments from you guys and stuff, and she said she didn't know that this many people could care about her story. And so she said that it's, it's helped her restore faith in humanity. Bill was crying this morning. He felt really good about it. Nicole, thank you, Missy, thank you. Yeah. So that was, that's really good news for her and for us and for everyone. Just, um, that's really good. Yeah. That's the power of social media, exactly. There's a lot of bad things with social media, but that those are the good things on social media, you know? going to court and all that stuff feels like you're not cared about but there's a lot of people on the outside that care about you so i want to thank you guys for that for being there and writing such amazing messages and helping out caring thank you for caring you know jj thank you for the roses tracy thank you love you hugs from costa rica thank you love you love you love you tracy thank you Do you have many accounts? No, this is my only account. Happy Wednesday. Happy hump day, guys. Thanks for sharing the story. No problem. I'm excited for the next one. We got some really 
tough ones coming up, so about four. So when we get back from Greece, we'll work on that. Racetrack today, I asked Adam when he wants to book it. I'm thinking maybe tomorrow. I don't know, I'm gonna ask him today. Today I gotta go fill up some water with our water jugs. I gotta go drop off the bears at the post office. I packed the bears for you guys yesterday. So I'll be shipping the bears out today. Um, so I'm gonna do that for Bill and me. Go grab, go do that with Adam. Get some water too, fill up the water. So just a couple of things going out and then come back and then just get Gotta do that stuff. Patty, thank you, Pauline, thank you. Yeah, so I'm gonna wait. Yeah, there's like these water jugs that you can just bring in and you can just refill it. Like the, the tap, tap water, you can refill it, so. Go do that, but wait till Adam gets up. He probably won't be up for another hour. That's okay. That means I get to chill more. The merch is all really great. Thank you. I'm wearing this right now. I told Bill I want to put this as like the signature, if we can. So we have our signature and our zip up too. Signature on the zip up. Signature here. Signature here. And then this up. I said if we can, if it's too expensive and stuff, then we wait until we start like. I don't know, getting bigger and stuff, and then we start adding little things like that. I'm not sure, I just gotta play around with it. See what see what people like and don't like. Mary Kim, thank you. You look gorgeous, thank you guys. Willpower merch, ooh yeah, that's gonna be a big drop. Willpower merch, we should make it red and blue for like Superman or Spider-Man type shit. Little power and it's also our logo, red and blue. Mary, thank you, Jen, thank you. Right. Excited for Greece? Yeah, like the days are counting down too quick now, so I'm getting a little nervous. Um, like excited, nervous. So the days are counting down now. <laughs> hey, how are you? I'm good. How are you? Do a willpower magnet. Ooh, that's a nice idea. Fridge magnets. You packed yet? No, I haven't packed yet. Maybe I should start getting packed today. Just so I feel more organized. Are you packing for Greece on Friday? That's what I was thinking. Like, it's Friday, but maybe I'll pack today. Passport, yeah. Got all that. Bill made sure we got all that. What are you nervous about? Um, going to like dinner, just meeting the agency and stuff and just keeping a good positive attitude the whole time and just being, being energetic, not getting lazy, all that stuff. Kathy, a little something to help with the guitar. Oh, the Kathy, thank you so much. You don't have to do that. Thank you. Thank you, Kathy. That means a lot. Kathy sent a PayPal saying a little help for the guitar. Good nerves, yeah. You know, just making sure I'm keeping, keeping my, keeping up, keeping, keeping energetic, not being uh, miserable or nothing, keeping great vibes going. But uh, that's what, just gotta keep buzzing, keep, keep doing good, you know? Tappers, thank you. How many hours is the flight? It is 12 hours. Just want to say thank you for the love and support. I fight through this cancer battle. No problem. I, I already followed you, but thank you. I think you posted a video and I commented on it, I think. I think I'm sorry for what you're going through. I know that must be absolutely miserable at some points. I think if you have a Bible with you, you can. It'll help too. Maybe. But you know, you got a community here. If you ever just want to come talk to some good-hearted people, you know, all day, every day. CJ, Sonia, we got a Discord. Whatever you want to say, people come in and always give good comments back and stuff. So, you know, you got people that care here. 
choppers thank you hello nice to meet you hi You're so special love you oh thank you roseanne for the paypal use this towards the special girls guitar oh guys thank you again you don't have to do that i'm doing this i want to do this but thank you that's gonna and even her just hearing that i bet she'll feel amazing because that um Denise is a special day one. Nice. Yeah, sorry if I don't notice you, like, everyone all the time. It can be hard. I also forget sometimes, and there's a lot of people, you know? Friend, I, good morning, Allie. I missed the guitar story. Okay, so I got a message today. Um, they, they showed the judges and stuff, and the judges were very emotional about our story like her helping her out she saw everything text messages and the stepdaughter of everything that you guys were saying what she's been through to keep strong all that and she said that we restored faith in her humanity because of how good she's feeling bill was bawling his eyes out so um but i just i just saw some texts and then i told bill let's buy her a new guitar because it got shot the guitar got shot um, she's okay. Um, so yeah, feels like, you know, like I helped someone, which is nice. And she helped me too for, so it's like, that's how humanity works, you know? Um, Rana, thank you. Metamorphosis in the chat. Um, I have another thing, I'm actually, I'm gonna have the, the owner of the rehab come talk to us as well on the, on our podcast, and we're gonna talk about addiction on our podcast, um, so it's gonna be a little tough talk for me, but I don't know, maybe I'll, maybe I'll be the one crying, but it'll be a good conversation to have him on as well, I know, I knew you guys would like that. He said he would love to. Pauline, thank you. Have you ever been to Mexico yet? So he'll have his camera on as well. And we can just talk. Talk about the times I went through, where I am today, what people battle through every day with addiction, how serious it is how people try to hide addiction and make their life still normal, but it's just impossible with addiction. Addiction is the worst um, thing ever. But thank you. So I'll be a good one. <laughs> good morning, Anna. Are you taking a GoPro to Greece? I could. I could take a GoPro. I need a lot of content. We don't know what anyone's going through. Exactly. That's actually true. You don't know what anyone's going through. Um, because it's so hard to see what everyone's actually going through. Um, so hard to see, you know. But there's always a light at the end of the tunnel. That's what's good. There's always a light at the end of the tunnel. Denise, Mary, and thank you. A smile can hide so much. Yeah, exactly. Cow, cow, thank you. How are you? I'm doing well. How's the bee sting? The bee sting is good now. friend Frank he's been sober for 13 years congratulations honestly not even congratulations just good job just good on you you know it's like this is what we should be doing is being sober you know um we shouldn't even be we should just actually no congratulations be celebrating about it actually you gotta celebrate for the 
good times too, you know? But it's just like, we should just not be doing things that hurt us anymore, you know? Teresa, thank you. Lady Ange, thank you. Hey, well, what's up? What's up, Julian? My mom's been sober for 30 years. Let's go. So proud of you. Thank you. Love that sound, right? I was looking at it last night. It was so beautiful because the lights, because at night it lights up like marble. Like it's like a marble blue right there. A blue right there. A marble orange right there. Marble red. So I was just looking at it and I couldn't stop looking at it. I just wanted to like touch it or something. I was like, ah, so beautiful. I wish my nephew could see your podcast is going through very hard. So check it out. Hey, Tracy. Hey. What's up, man? How are you? Special K, thank you for all the roses. Irene, thank you. Have a safe trip, thank you, Rita. Toppers, thank you. Hey, William. Hey, Sydney. My mom's birthday today. Happy birthday, Barbie 69's mom. Happy birthday. Oh, no way. We have a survivor group at our church. They watched last night's podcast. No way. Thank you, Ann, for telling me that and showing that or something. Because you probably showed them thank you. That's sick. That's cool. Even um, one of my agents that's looking at me saw it. And then right away, now he, now he wants me. He always wanted me, but like now he's like, yo, I really like what he's doing. So it's really cool. He's talking about love and help in the world. And uh, and you ask if he has, <laughs> Bill, they're just, they want to see if a handsome man like me wants, has a girlfriend. Nah, single ladies. Single forever. And I'm <laughs> Julie, thank you. Tappers, thank you, Tappers, thank you, thank you. You calm my heart, that's good, that's good. Can you wish Christy happy birthday? That makes me proud, by the way, I calm your heart. Thank you. Diane, thank you. How's your arm, it's good. Alain, it's good. Maybe we'll meet a nice Greek girl. Yes, but then she can manipulate me so much easier by just being like with her friends, talking to me about freaking Greek language. And I won't be able to know what they're saying. They'll just be like, and I'll just be like, yeah, really? In front of my face? You know what? I'm going back to Canada then. Bye. <laughs> And all they said was Kluvaki. <laughs> He's good looking or whatever. <laughs> Mary Fran, thank you. <laughs> Translator app, <laughs> yeah. But I could be like, I love you. And then just be like, F you. So I'll just be like, fuck you. And then I'm just like, damn, yeah, you're a nice person. But then they look at their friends and they're laughing. And they're like, what a loser, you know? So I don't know. We got to be careful with that. I either got to learn the language or stay away from them. One of the two. <laughs> Mary and thank you, Annie, thank you. Just have fun, don't stress, yeah. I know. Love has its own language, I like that. Tracy, thank you. Love from Australia, hey.
I think I'm just gonna make up my own language. Cause you know how people agree sometimes like no matter what, like out of body language. I think I should like make my own language and just act like it's good. Like it's it. Like back when I see that movie. Yeah. Yeah. And then you'd be like, oh. And I'll be like, yeah. Just gotta take control. Take control right away. But I'm gonna confuse them instantly. They wanna confuse me, I'm gonna confuse them right back. Harder. Harder. Own language. <laughs> Amy Tiff, thank you guys. Practice on Sims. Yeah, good idea actually. Maybe we'll play Sims tonight to chill out. Amy Keeper, thank you. Hello from Costa Rica, it's good. Yo, I didn't know Jennifer Gardner, guys, was in the new movie with Deadpool and um, Wolverine. Freaking Jennifer Gardner is in the movie with freaking Deadpool and Wolverine. So I messaged her this morning. I shot my shot, I said hey. So if you guys can all say hey, Chuck Williams DM, that'd, that'd be a lot. I said hey, smiley face. I shot my shot, you never know. You never know. Amy, <laughs> thank you. If she needs a pool boy for a year, for a summer, just get a photographer, Jennifer Gardner's pool boy. I'll blow up. Jennifer Gardner's pool boy. TikTok star. <laughs> no, she's my favorite because I loved her, right? Since I was young. She was in Daredevil and she was like my my future wife. So then I saw her and I'm like, yo, maybe this is it. All the moms love me. Maybe this is it. This is my chance. So I slid in. I said, hey, smiley face. That's it. <sighs> Everyone. <laughs> I slid in. Keeper, thank you. Amy, thank you. Shot three kids. You ready for that? Oh, yeah. She needs a real man to save those kids. I'll come in hard and say, listen, Jennifer, what the f is going on here? They're spoiled, rotten brats. They need to be landscaping, Jennifer. They need to be landscaping. This is ridiculous. Put them out, lay sod all day. I'm gonna go ruin the grass with the boys with the ATVs, and then all the other boys are gonna go clean it up and landscape it. How about that? All right, that's what's gonna happen today, Jennifer. Keep it there. And then Ben's gonna come in and I'm gonna be like, Ben, what the frick's going on? You were Daredevil when, 25 years ago? Yeah, guess who's fresh in town? This guy. This guy's fresh. So listen up, Ben, you fossil. Get off my property, all right? Get off my property, Ben. Keep her tip. <laughs> Yeah, grumpy Ben. What are you, T-Rex now, Ben? You just grumpy all day like my fans? Just grumpy? Are you T-Rex? What are you, Ben? Confused. Are you distinct? Are you distinct? I'm confused now. Keeper. Oh. Keeper. <laughs> Thank you. Tappers, thank you. Extinct, whatever. Extinct, distinct. Hey, I'm not grumpy. I'm just joking. Orlando Bloom is grumpy. That's who's grumpy. That Orlando Bloom guy. I asked him for a picture and he made me wait. And I'll never forget that Orlando Bloom. Bloom. So when you're at that next event, I'm sucking on your toe in the backyard and you can't get me off you, I'm like a leech? What are you gonna do? 
What are you going to do, Orlando? Nothing. Absolutely nothing. Absolutely nothing. I'm coming for you, eh? Eyes on you. Anywhere I go, I'll be there. Anywhere you go, I'll be there. And my sweetie, thank you. Yeah, I went up to Orlando with literal full puppy dog eyes. I'm like, and I'm looking at him. I'm like, Orlando, my lips even shaking. Teeth are clattering. I don't even know what's going on. I'm like, Orlando, please. And he looks at me bombastic side eye kind of looks at me up and down and says just just blew me right off I was like you know what baby you're a firework come on let your colors burn me and you can go ah 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 you know? That's what I was gonna sing to him. Nancy, thank you, friend, thank you. <laughs> AKA, I'm gonna be with your wife in a year from now. AKA. That's why I sang that song in front of you, Orlando. It wasn't for me and you to sing. It was for me and Katie on our honeymoon when we're flying high. Alright? That's what it is. All right. All right, Pirates of the Caribbean. Guess what? Guess who I would be? I would be the actual pirate, not the villain pirate. What is that villain pirate? I'd be the actual pirate. Jack freaking Sparrow. All right. Don't mess with me. Don't mess with me. Right, Orlando? I hope you hear me, Orlando. You better be in here, Orlando. I swear if you left... You better be in here, Orlando. I swear if you left the chat, you're gonna get it. Luchy Luch. What? You got another one? Yeah, I should have got you one. It's okay. Where are you going? Nowhere, honey. Okay. You look good. Okay, thanks, honey. <coughs> Auntie, yes. do you know Orlando Bloom? Yeah. You definitely think he's hot. Okay. You definitely have a crush on him. He's very cute. He's cute, eh? Very handsome. He's really cute, isn't he? <laughs> <laughs> How cute is he? <laughs> How cute is he? <sighs> no, I'm just playing, guys. All comedy. All comedy. All comedy purposes. All comedy purposes. Tina, thank you. What's the date of your baptism? August 22nd. What is 22? What's the lucky number 22? My birthday. Let's go. Ola Hermos. 22 is an angel number. Would you ever refuse a pic or an autograph? Yeah, because it depends. Like if I'm having like stomach pains and everyone's looking at me like, Will, Will, autograph now. And I'm just like kind of hurting and no one's listening. I'm like, yeah, yeah, yeah. 
and then like they're like please 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 then maybe i'm gonna be like in a bad mood and be like hey like fuck i just need to go somewhere like i kind of get it you know it depends what you're going through like he could just be like kind of like trying to get his thoughts together and he's like bro just leave me alone for a sec you know he gets it all there Yes, for good relationships and being guided by angels. Let's go. Will you be in Santorini at all? No. I can't wait to go to Greece now. I hope I meet the love of my life. I hope it happens just like this. I'm walking. My head's down. I'm eating. A nice salad because I'm healthy. And then I grab my, my drink of water because I'm healthy. put it down she comes to the table and then it all goes from there patty thank you no it's gonna happen like that don't ever say it's not gonna happen like that that's how it's gonna happen don't be messing up my prince charming story this is my prince charming This is my Prince Charming story. You understand? As soon as I get baptized, my head comes out of the water, I open my eyes, there she is, walking on water. And the song plays. Oh, <laughs> And then I get up and I start swimming like a dolphin towards her. I f no arms. The arms go right in and it's all body. And that's how we fall in love. Diane, thank you. <laughs> I'm in love. <laughs> that's funny. Wearing a Speedo? Okay, we gotta talk about that. Because if I were a Speedo, if someone's eye gets poked out, that ain't my problem. Like if, you know, Ron John and Jeremy's wife's walking by and I just freaking knock her out with my Speedo, that's not my fault. So these are things we need a lot of space, you know, a room. We need to do some measuring. Make sure everything's okay. Maybe a sub goal for that one too. Speedos are crazy. Like, who thinks of wearing a Speedo, actually? I'm just gonna wear a Speedo. Actually, they're way more comfy than swim shorts. Swim shorts are so uncomfortable. They stick to you and shit. Yeah. Speedo's a vibe. I just don't want anyone seeing my hairy freaking ass, bro. Because then, it's over. The pretty boy Will is not pretty boy anymore. This is straight up forest, Africa. Like it is right in the jungle, Amazon. So we gotta be careful. My friends always told me to just shave it, but I can't reach down there. Like, how do you shave that? What am I gonna do like this? Hey, Auntie, close the door. Like, I can't do that. You know? <laughs> if I waxed, holy. I'd be like, one, two, three. Ah! <laughs> Okay, okay, regroup, regroup, regroup. Slap me in the back, slap me in the back first. Ah. Ah.
I travel on Saturday. This Saturday I leave for two weeks for my traveling. Oh yeah, if I get waxed, I'll be live. I'll just be like, hold the screen over here. You'll be like, one, two, three. They're gonna need like a whole like massive sheet for it. 10 people grabbing the end of the sheet. Three, two, one. Just like the most hair. <laughs> Ali, you Yell out Kelly Clarkson? Why? Kelly freaking Clarkson! And she comes running to my door. This is why I told you to shave it, Kelly. This is why I told you to shave it. Now I'm here. Alone. Diane Faye, thank you. Frank. What do you want me to do? Waxing, waxing is like a beast thing. Waxing is like 10,000 beast things in one. Waxing is like, then you feel all these little stingies. Wax. I kind of want to wax my wife. Yo, Mary, thank you, Karen, thank you. Ask Ivan to do it. Ivan? Are you kidding? Nancy, thank you. Ivan? I couldn't pay Ivan to wax me. If I tried paying him, he would be like, yeah, right. Like, Ivan's stomach is way too weak for that. Like, it would actually give him nightmares for years. Ivan wouldn't live with himself after. He couldn't. Nightmares. He would say, no, I'm never, ever waxing your ass. Yeah, no, I got a better chance of Gavin doing it than Ivan, to be honest. Reed, no. Reed won't do it. My brother won't do it. He hates my ass. Yeah, a lot of people wouldn't do it. You guys would do it. Adam won't do it, no. Bill won't do it, no. I think we got the best chance of Gavin doing it. I think Gavin's Ferda, and we say, yo, Gavin, do it. Yeah, Gavin. Drew would do it. Put it right in the... Justin? Yeah, Justin. Justin wouldn't do it, no. He'd say, listen, okay. I'll help you out with your videos and all. But there's no way, and I say no way, that I'm doing that. All right? You understand, Will? He'd say, there's no way. Because if two years later, you go on a podcast and my reputation is waxing your ass, <laughs> I swear to God, Jocks, Jocks would be an asshole about it. Are you and Drew okay? Oh yeah, we're good. Me and Drew are always good. I just don't talk to him right now. I'm busy and whatever. But in reality, he's always been my boy since day one. We're good. I hope he's good. I hope he's doing well. I got a lot to focus on me. Anyway, what were we talking about? Um, who were we talking about? Um, Kuner. Who else do I forget? We're talking about something. Oh, Jocks. Jocks? Jocks would have to make a freaking. Jocks would have to make a freaking. Um, Jocks would have to make a deal. Jocks would be like, all right, I'll do it. But. That's what Jocks would say. I'll do it, but Homie and Christian, they'd say, all right, bend over. I'd say, okay, wait, I don't know if I trust your guys' confidence right now. And then they'd say, 
bend over and I'd say, right now? And they'd say, now. Nah. And I'd say, okay. Bend right over. <laughs> Homie, you get the skid steer. You'd say, all right, we're gonna put a crane, attach the wax paper. We're gonna pull on three. <laughs> Yeah, Josh just said the fuck. Actually, all my friends would say the fuck. Every single person that I just said, at first they'd say what. At first they'd say what. Say that actually. All right, I think we should stop talking about waxing. Maybe. You, sh you, you should ask them and see what they'd say. I should actually text every single one of them and then make a video. Like I'll text everyone, like every one of my friends, like literally Justin, Alex, freaking my brother, Adam, Drew, freaking everyone, Gavin, like everyone I've known, just literally like 20 freaking people, all everyone, just be like, can you wax my ass? And then just put a song on it and just see what they say. I think that will be a start because there's some friends I haven't talked to in a while because we've been all doing our own things. But that would be such a good way to start and start talking to them again. Just be like, can you, I think I should say, hey bro first though. Maybe not just, can you wax my ass? I think I should say, hey bro, can you wax my ass? And then just see where it goes there. I think that's a good one. Good opening statement, good icebreaker. CJ, Diane, thank you. The worst thing is if it would be R bomb, R bomb, R bomb, R bomb. Everyone R bombs it. That'd be the worst. That'd be the worst. Because how do I say something after that? What do I say after that? What would I say after that? Literally. Like, hey bro, sorry for saying, asking if you can wax my ass. Honestly, I didn't really mean it, um, but how are you doing? Like, no, I can't even say that. Jennifer, Will, for the girls retire. Oh, thank you, Jennifer. God bless you, eh? Thank you. Thanks, Jennifer. Tappers, thank you, 150K taps. Might block me forever. I think that, that might be the, like, they must have been like, okay, you know, should I block him? Should I block him? And then as soon as that goes, I think that's the get him out. I think that's the right. You know what? This is God's sign saying get him out. You know? So maybe. Maybe that was the icebreaker. What if they asked you? If they asked me, I would say three things. How much am I getting paid? How much attention am I getting? The next thing I'd say, is there a gas mask? And is there x-ray vision goggles or something that can kind of make my, I don't want to see anything. I just kind of want to see the area. And then maybe a costume as well. And then I think I'd go in, like the, I want it to be like red is the butt, I mean white's the butt cheeks and then red's the hair. So I know like exactly the reds where you plant it. I put gloves, three, two, one, pull, put it over, open the bag, drop it in, you know? Patty, thank you, Mary, thank you. Yeah, I have to do that. 
because there's, there's no way I would go in just nothing. What's an R bomb? It's when you read a message and don't reply. No, guys, we're not doing that, right? You should be out playing some hockey. I know I miss hockey, you stupid. You stupid. -a. Why'd you make me miss something right now? Now I'm twitching. Ah. Uh. Uh. Sorry. Oh, okay. I know. I do miss hockey a lot. And I do want to start playing soon. I need to move my legs and stuff, start playing. Ashley, thank you. Hockey season starts in October. What have you been up to, Will? Thank you for the flowers. Um, what I've been up to? Just a whole lot of me. Just a whole lot of life, you know? Realizations every day, like, oh, I should be doing this more. Oh, I wish I did this more. Oh, I'm gonna do this more. Oh, I feel good right now. Oh, I don't wanna smoke. Oops, I smoked. Now I'm pissed at myself. Oh, I gotta work, do this work. All that stuff. It's just a whole lot of, whole lot of good though. Whole lot of good. But yeah, just all that. Rita, thank you, Mary, thank you. What is the reason for you to block anyone? I'm um, just like, kind of like, if people are kind of being whatever, but realistically, I don't really care. I was just kind of like, whatever. Like, you can kind of say whatever you want. I don't really care. Unless it's like bullying someone or something. But I don't really care. Honestly, I'm just here for good vibes, that's all. You know, just here for good vibes. Focusing on the good, focusing on the good, you know. My sweetie, thank you. How's the book going? I need help now a little bit with, uh, I'm gonna ask for some help because I'm kind of, kind of stuck. I just need help with like formatting it. Um, so like when you guys said narrator, that was a good idea. At first I was like, no, but I actually do like the idea of like someone helping me throughout the book and stuff. Why are you picking your nose on live? Do you not pick your nose? It's okay, you pick your nose, you throw it. I'm not touching you, I'm not eating dinner. I'll go wash my hands in a second. I'm on the other side of the world. Chill. I just picked a little boogie to get it out of my nose so you're not seeing up my nose. Will's boo, thank you. You need a ghostwriter, exactly. Tappers, thank you. And thank you. But you're right, you're right. I won't. Whatever. Rise and grind, thank you. Anyway, um, you know what's pissing me off? That I have to get water and drop off the bears. That's pissing me off. How much should we pay Adam to do it all for us? How much should we pay Adam to do it all for us? Fudge. What do I do? I don't want to go. Just do it. I know, Bill, but you give me all the hard work. I haven't played video games with my fans in a long time, or Sims. These are real things that we care about. Not chores. I'm worried about Sim well too. Exactly. It's okay. I'll get over it. It's okay. At least I get to drive my car. I like driving my car at night, eh? Oh, last night when I was driving it, I could actually live in my car. My car is so nice at night, guys. Oh, and I just found out it's called a massage. You can press it, guys and it massages you while you drive. Like actual massage. Like full on, like like you're in the chair, like your back, everything. I'm like, what? 
the lights inside too. That's why I can just chill there like crazy. There's like free Wi-Fi, free data. If there was more room, like if I could kick back and sleep, yeah, you could live in there. Diane, thank you, Irene, thank you. But Adam's already showing me the newest Audi and all this, and I'm like, oh, no, I'm kidding. I'm not that greedy. I love my car. I'm just grateful for it. I'm like, damn, this is a nice car to drive. Can you show us the lights at night? Yeah, I have to. I gotta show you guys at night because the door handles light up. The whole door handle, like there's a line in the door handle, it lights up blue. It's like mm, all the door handles. And then you open it and then it's like all light. It's like that. Right? It's class, yeah. I gotta show you guys somehow i'll take like a video or something we need a night drive tiktok yeah literally that's what i gotta get tiktok of like me like coming in the car or like in the car or like you know all that all the interior black beauty but can it make iced coffees? No, it can't. But it can drive you to make iced coffees. It can drive you to the place where you can get iced coffees. But you can't make them though. You know? You need to go at night and go live like Alex does. Yeah, I know. On TikTok too. I'll, I'll go live on TikTok too. Tonight or something or later. I'm just thinking I'm going to get going, guys, in five minutes. Did an hour today. You know, did my job. Now I can say see you later. Never talk to you again. <laughs> see you later. <laughs> You know, thank God, thank God. I've been counting down, crossing my fingers, waiting for this live to end. Honestly, so happy it's done. Um, now I'm gonna chill for a bit, do my stuff, and then I'll see you guys later too on kick. <laughs> Just kidding. I am, I was just kidding. I love talking to you guys. It's just now, it's time for me to like unwind for a little bit, see what's going on with Adam, if he's waking up soon or what's going on. Have a couple cigarettes or whatever, have a couple, whatever, get my look at my schedule and then go from there. Do those chores first thing. I need a, I'm gonna make my own delivery service. It's gonna be called chores.com. And it's like, if you pay, if you ever need chores for a cheap price of like 20 bucks and they just come quick to your chores, but you can rely on that guy to your chores. Just random chores, you know? I think I'm gonna make that. Um. My sweetie. All right. <clears throat> there is one called Task Make Master. Task Master. Well, mine's gonna be called Master Dates. Master Dates. We are masters at saving your dates and masters at saving your free time. Master Dates. Rita, thank you. Denise, thank you. Master dates. All right. All right, guys. Thank you so much. Where am I from? I'm from Canada, Ontario. I don't even know where I'm from because I've moved around so much. Um, like GTA, Toronto. Keep it safe, Toronto area. I don't want you to know exactly where I am. 
All right. Um, the background noise. That is Garbage Man George. He's my buddy. No, I'm kidding. I don't know him. But there's a guy that's a garbage man that does TikTok lives. That's such a good attitude. So fun. You guys gotta watch him. He's always laughing. Like he's like such a beauty, bro. George. Thank you. Frick. Yeah, no, just turn off your freaking car when you're in front of my house. I don't know. You don't have to keep it revving. Fuck. All right, anyway, sorry. Me and George are in a little battle there. Um, anyway, word of the day. Oh, I don't want a word of the day, though. I don't want any word of the day. Because someone said word of the day chores. And that didn't sound good. I got a good one. Word of the day? Figure out how not to do chores. So we'll do figuring out. Word of the day? Figuring out. Word of the day? Manipulating. Word of the day? Manipulate Bill to make him think that I am doing chores but in reality I'm not doing chores oh okay actually the word of the day is get her done <laughs> get her done right? no the word of the day honestly is uh, presence present presence is the word of the day presence I have some presence, present moment feeling, you know, feeling the present. All right. Thank you guys for a fun ass live. That was fun. Oh. I'll see you guys later. No, not presence, Amy. There's no pre there's no presence going on. Presence, presence, not presence. All right, don't get ahead of yourself. It's not Christmas yet. All right. Be back, Dean. Thank you. All right, guys. Bye, guys.